This coming Monday, May the 9th, is the most important free speech case since Citizens United. That's not just my view, but one of the major uh, um, organizations that, that study recall uh, around the country dubbed our case to be the most important free speech case in Citizens United. You say, what's going on, um, Bishop Brown? It's real simple. Mayor Cook is suing our church and those got in, that got involved in the recall of for $700,000, all in attorney fees, nearly all of it in attorney fees. If he prevails, do you realize not only does Word of Life Church lose and lose greatly, we could lose this property that's behind me. The people who work so hard, who've given so faithfully, this property could be taken away from them because we don't have $700,000 to pay. But if we lose, so does every Texas pastor. So does every corporate-owned media. So does every corporate leader. You say, well, why does everyone lose? It's real simple. Mayor Cook has a theory that my speech on my internet site, my speech on my Twitter account, my speech on my Facebook, my speech at my church, where I encourage people to recall the mayor, that speech, he says, is a campaign contribution. Now, I know some of you are saying that's crazy. I know it's crazy, but did you know Judge Alvarez a few weeks ago at our summary hearing, you know what he says? He agrees with them. This is crazy. He agrees and he is looking to fine our church and make us pay $700,000. This is such an important case. That's why the Attorney General and the Texas Ethics Commission had to weigh in on this case. They had to write to Judge Alvarez telling them that churches have every right to engage in a recall. They can sign pe petitions in their church. They can spend their own money. They can, they can speak out and they can say whatever they want using whatever available means that they have to encourage people to do a recall. They had to tell Alvarez that because if he rules against us, he's ruling against you. Because do you understand the theory? If my speech is a campaign contribution, so is your speech, Pastor. If you speak for or against an office holder or a candidate, you can be sued for making a campaign contribution. And a greedy lawyer will cite the Alvarez case as proof that you can be sued. Listen to me, the media, El Paso Times, all the networks, listen to me carefully. If my speech is a campaign contribution and I only speak to a few hundred people on Sunday mornings, how about the El Paso Times who speaks to hundreds of thousands when they make endorsements on candidates? Do you realize the candidate that did not get endorsed could sue the El Paso Times for making a political contribution and they will cite the Alvarez, the Cook and Tom Brown case. Do you understand if you're a, an owner of a business and your business is incorporated and on your Facebook you say something for or against an office holder or a candidate, you can be sued. I know you say That's, uh, that, uh, that can't happen. It's happening here in El Paso. And I can tell you right now, Judge Alvarez said a few weeks ago, this is what he said before we even get to have our trial. He says, I already know how I'm going to rule. That's it. He says, I already know how. And it wasn't in our favor. He said the only issue is how much are the attorney fees. He's already ready to make a decision. He already decided how he's going to rule. Now, what if you were on a jury and you were told, would you like to serve? But you say, yeah, put me on the jury, but I already know how I'm going to rule. You wouldn't even be allowed to rule. That's why we're actually having to ask the judge, Javier Alvarez, to recuse himself. He is prejudiced against this case. The question is, I don't know what the Attorney General brief and the Texas Ethics Commission brief, that brief that they gave him, what impact it's going to make on the judge. That's why I need you. I need you like never before to join us this coming Monday, that's May the 9th, at the El Paso County Courthouse, the 10th floor, court number three. I need you, friend. Pastor, I fought for your rights. I fought. To, to uphold the right to have your vote count. You say, why did I get involved? Because Cook overturned the will of the majority. The voters voted overwhelmingly to pass a certain ordinance. Cook didn't like it, he overthrew it. So we held him accountable by recalling him. But then he threw out our recall. He stole our, our votes. He stole our petitions. Now, he's trying to steal our church property. I need you, Pastor. I need you to tell your congregation this coming Sunday, I want all of you to take a day off 
Come an hour early before the court. Come at 8 o'clock in the morning. Have signs affirming our right of free speech. And then after, after one hour of protesting from 8 to 9, then come up to the 10th floor of the county courthouse and support us. We need your support like never before, but supporting us is really supporting yourself because if we lose, you lose. That's right. We all lose. This is why this is the most important free speech case. And I need your prayers. I need your support, but don't just pray. Come out there this coming Monday. And I'm telling you, let's have our voice count and let's stand for free speech. Pray for me. Pray for our church. Please support us. Be there this coming Monday, May the 9th at the El Paso County Courthouse, 10th floor, 9 o'clock. Thank you.